Hi, my name is Kennedy and I'm from Peter Knipple Garden Center. And today I wanted to talk to you a bit about nematodes and grubs. What are nematodes? Nematodes are microscopic worms that occur naturally in the soil. They are a parasite to other insects such as grubs uh, that are below the ground surface that are, uh, that are chewing on the, uh, your grass roots. Uh, nematodes are safe for humans, animals, uh, and the environment uh, in general. Okay, so how do, how do we apply nematodes? Well, take them out of the package. As you'll see, they're in a, uh, they're in a sponge here. There's about uh, 10 million of them. Uh, you can see them under a, a 10, 10 times lens of a microscope if you're interested in, in watching them move around. Uh, but you've taken this out of the fridge, so you're going to take your sponge out and you're going to put it in a pail of water. You can also rinse out the bag to make sure that any of the nematodes that are on the side of the bag get out into this water. And so we're going to mix our, our concentrate. Okay? So you're going to squeeze the bag a little bit, make sure they get have some time to get uh, mixed up in the water. And then we're going to apply them with a hose end sprayer. Use your hose end sprayer. You can use one that you maybe used fertilizer in before. But just make sure it's, it's rinsed out and washed very well so that you don't harm the nematodes uh, before they even get out. The other thing too, if you're using an older sprayer, you want to make sure that the filter is off. Most of the fertilizer sprayers have a filter and if, uh, and if you keep that on, the nematodes can't get up and into the, uh, into the tube and onto the, um, onto the lawn. So once your, your mixture is, uh, is mixed, you're going to fill your container with your nematode mixture, screw it on and, and water the lawn. Each package will cover two to 3,000 square feet. So a little bit more about nematodes and grubs. The best time to apply nematodes is late August, early September. And the reason for that is that is when they, uh, they, they, can, they can infect the grubs uh, best. The grubs have a life cycle. In the spring, they're, they're at their, almost at their adult stage. Um, and so they're coming to the surface and they're going to turn into either the June beetle or the European rose chafer, and there's or the Japanese beetle, and uh, those those beetles are going to fly around and mate in the month of June, and lay lay eggs in your lawn or somewhere nearby, uh, and and those those eggs will start to hatch in July and August, and they will they will feed uh, voraciously on your lawn. Uh, in order to grow big enough to, to repeat the cycle. So uh, hitting them with nematodes in late August, early September is a great time because they're still nice and small and they will be uh, infected easily by the nematodes. Nematodes can also be applied in the spring um, as they, they will infect the, the, the adult uh, larvae but it, it just isn't as effective at that time of year. The other thing to keep in mind is the, the soil needs to be wet for a three or four day period so that the nematodes have a chance to get down below the grass uh, and to the root system to, of the grass where the grubs are.